All right, hello and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, I'm going to do another whipping chat here. All right, so Diamond Art Clubs, Hogwarts Crest, Fine Oddities Black. Okay. Uh, square drill, 22 inches by 26 inches, 56 centimeters by 66 centimeters. 42 colors, including four ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, and they're an iridescent coated type of drill that shines a little brighter than that of regular drills. And anything under color code or DMC code 150 is considered an AB with Diamond Art Club. All right, how's it going? All right, just uploaded the previous weapon chat. I have done a couple colors well I was uploading hopefully your day is going well yeah just hang out some more still have a good chunk of this canvas to get through so just uh, spend a little bit more time together all right are you looking forward to any of the diamond art club releases that have been previewed on social media uh, and I believe the chalk along number six started at midnight at 12.01 this morning, or the second, sorry. Yeah, it's the second today. Started yesterday at like midnight. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I'm seeing a post for that, like people starting and first week progress already. Yep. <laughs> Somebody has like an entire top row done already for their uh, chuck along canvases. That's anything that, that uh, any canvas that Chuck Pinson has like licensed, usually from Diamond Art Club or Dreamer Designs has or had a couple uh, Chuck Pinsons as well. For the most part, I believe his a lot of his canvases, Chuck Pinson's canvases, are DACs. But yeah, I'm sure they're in other places. Yeah, it's just a an event that's yeah just running currently. They it's like done twice a year. Sometimes, okay, or most of the time, I believe. So, I participated in like the second one <laughs> of that. I'm working on this canvas now, so it's like, <laughs> not me. It's Kiss My Crafts and Mindy's Diamond Moment that uh, organized that. Yeah, they they always pair together. And uh yeah, run the event. They had interviewed uh Chuck Pinson I think a couple times. I seen at least once when he was interviewed by Mindy and uh Kiss my craft. So, at the end of one of the events, yeah, they interviewed Chuck Pinson and he had space for reflection framed behind him. I think it was a print of his painting that was uh, framed behind him. And that's his favorite uh, painting he's done. I believe I did space for a reflection for that truck along, so that was yeah for one of the truck alongs. I uh, just did number two. I think I seen like the interview for number three or something. Yeah, I I don't remember. It's all 
mash together. They do it like twice a year. So, but yeah, that event's underway. Derek with diamonds, uh, ghouls, witches, and goblins event is underway too. That started September 1st as well. So, yeah. There's a couple events. So. I'm hearing about a drills and chills event too. I'm not sure who's running that one. But, yeah, I'm just doing this canvas. So, <laughs> uh, working away at this one. I'm good. <laughs> uh, having enough trouble getting drills on this one. This one's for my nephew. And yeah. One thing after another, it seemed. So, yeah, just doing capital N here. Yeah, it's just next in line for symbols. It's this very top row here. I'm just following that to fill this in. So, yeah. are just kind of hiding here. Two, seven. Yeah, it's just kind of a... It's kind of nestled within the other symbols here. I was doing pinks and purples on the preview. <laughs> it seemed... <laughs> Weapon chat. Yeah, I, I just single plays, so, yeah, I'm good with that. But I sometimes have trouble just getting the single place drills on properly, being straight and all, and making the drills straight. Oh, they're a bit crooked, yeah, don't get too upset. <laughs> Usually correct themselves if uh, you put drills adjacent to the one that you're kind of iffy about, but if it's really bothering you, uh, have a pair of tweezers handy. And usually the Diamond Art Club um, adhesive is fairly forgiving for getting drills off of it. Kind of a gentle lifting, twisting motion, maybe. Uh, it gets the drills back up off the canvas that you don't want, but... Yeah. <laughs> I usually drop the odd drill onto the canvas. Or, yeah, I've put the tray on the adhesive. <laughs> on an exposed patch of adhesive too. Yeah, I did that a couple whipping chats ago, I think. Uh, it's like, aw. Oh. <laughs> like, I know that the adhesive is exposed, like it's a nice patch of it, but just subconsciously or something, I just put the tray down. I think I saw Kiss My Crafts do it the other day too. <laughs> it it happens to everybody, I'm sure. Or you lean your arm. You want to rest your arm on the canvas. But yeah, there's adhesive exposed. Yeah, I'm not one who uses washi tape to like make sections. I just kind of use the drills 
as a guide. Just kind of make a trace a section out with the drills. So yeah, hence why I'm like only diamond painting in certain <laughs> to a certain extent. So where these like three drills right here, yeah, these drills on the edge here stop. Yeah, that's the end of the section, and then just along the top here. Yeah, <laughs> I just section off that way. <laughs> Probably have like. A uh, couple diamond painting kits with washi tape in it. That yeah, probably a couple of these diamond art club boxes are going to have a couple rolls of washi tape. <laughs> eh, and not really one who uses it, so. No, it's all good. But that's one method to section off your canvases. There are different ways, but yeah, I just do the, just leave the plastic cover intact fully and yeah, just section off naturally. Just use the canvas certain symbols just kinda make a line okay I think that's all for N I had to go back and like put like two drills up here for the pink it's like oh my gosh it's like T or something it's like oh my gosh <laughs> Six. Okay, that's that. All right. Hopefully your projects are going well, canvases. And if you're doing the Chuck Long Six, all the best. I don't think you have to finish your canvas necessarily. Yeah, just like do what you can in the month. I'm not sure about prizes. I don't. I. Uh, there's probably a video like going over the event, but yeah, there's always usually a video posted about the event, but uh, yeah, <laughs> just if you're doing like any diamond painting event, take your time, have fun. Probably it's usually for like a month or so, nine fifteen. Uh, most of these events, but yeah, have fun, do your best, do what you can, and you can always finish the canvas any time after the event. Yeah, chalk pins and uh, canvases are pretty epic. Well, sort of landscapes in general. Yeah. Some of his uh, canvases are confetti heavy, if not a good chunk of them, but they're beautiful when they're done. So. Highly recommended to do, but yeah, just some of his pictures, landscapes do look overwhelming. That, that's a fair thing to say, but yeah, just break it down in smaller sections and it'll be manageable. So, just makes it easier. Alright, just doing the pregnant stick here, 915, uh, darker purple again. It's either pinks or purples, <laughs> these flower petals here, but the colors are beautiful on this canvas, but yeah, <laughs> a couple of these colors are very similar. <laughs> yeah, and I'm purposely doing the section, or the colors, before I do the 310. Because, yeah, this background of this canvas is 310, is black, but yeah. I'm just doing the colors during the whip and jets, like just going through the canvas that way, 
and then I'll do the 310 after I do all the color in a section. That's how I'm doing this canvas. Just so everybody's not sitting through just like 310 heavy whipping jets. And I do like showcasing the colors in this canvas, so. Yeah, and it's kind of nice to work on the colors because then once I get to the 310, the section's like almost done or is going to be done <laughs> eventually. Sorry, I'm just bumping the drafting table constantly. Fun, fun. All right. Yeah, just a pretty casual Friday. Yeah, not much to elaborate on. <laughs> I guess like Game of Thrones prequel, like th set 300 years before the events of Game of Thrones is uh, out now. And wasn't that Lord of the Rings prequel thing released recently too? Yeah, the Rings of Power or something. Uh, keep seeing the ads for it, but I'm like, uh, based on J.R.R. Tolkien's like ideas, then I'm not sure if it's exactly uh, what he would uh, consider canon. I, I think, I believe he's passed away. I think he, yeah. J.R. Tolkien himself, I think he's passed away a bit ago. <laughs> and now his stuff, his materials just kind of just getting used <laughs> and interpreted in various different ways. I'm sure the show has like the spirit of the Lord of Middle Earth in mind, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's like canon. <laughs> To that uh, world or universe, but oh well, just uh, take that kind of stuff over a grain of salt. Uh, House of the Dragon, uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, it's, yeah, set before. Game of Thrones, so I can't tell you too much. Cool dragon. It's like the dragons were actually like kicking around back then, like 300 years before all that fun. So that I keep seeing a dragon. So <laughs> not. But all I can tell you, I don't have Crave or any of that stuff. I have Amazon Prime, like Rings of Power just hanging out there, but I'm like, yeah. oh, how many episodes any of this is going to be? So. That stuff's there if you want to watch it. You can form your 
own interpretation or opinion, <laughs> whether you like it or not. It's not for me to decide. <laughs> Somebody spent millions of dollars on that stuff, creating that, those two shows, so I, I see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know, the six episode stuff, these limited series, uh, it's just kind of, uh, you, you really not want to invest the time in uh, major TV shows anymore. Like, has Grey's Anatomy, uh, have the seasons gotten shorter in that? I remember like TV shows being like 22, 23 episodes for a season. You're lucky if he has like 10. It's a stretch if he hit 10. I, I Usually like those dramas that are like an hour long. Like those Chicago PDs and... Mad and Fire, <laughs> those three trifecta shows. Yeah, I think there's more episodes in those uh, seasons than just a lot of miniseries as of late. It's kind of, yeah. I don't watch that stuff. <laughs> I run into like the odd. I watch snippets of Grey's Anatomy, but like those kind of dramas, but I don't follow it entirely. I see it every now and then. Either it's like PVR, my mom watches that stuff. And... Just, uh, it's like, what the heck's going on? Who is that? <laughs> just, uh, yikes. I just listen to music when I can. While I was uploading to YouTube, I just turned on YouTube music and, yeah, listened to a few of my favorite uh, tunes. Yeah, it's just easier. <laughs> it's still sound, but it's music, so it just plays. I don't have to sit there and be invested in a, like a TV show where you're watching your tablet or whatever well you're trying to diamond paint etc or craft if it's a new show like I'd have to be watching the show I couldn't be diamond painting or something <laughs> kind of have to be paying attention to what you're doing while you're diamond painting and counted cross stitch, I can imagine you'd kind of have to watch what you're doing too. But yeah, as I've heard um, various snippets of conversations, that uh, yeah, if it's that something you've already seen, that's different. You can probably just hear it and have an idea of what's going on. But I don't know, everybody's different. It, it's kind of a way to help you concentrate or just to get rid of the quietness so you hear something while you're crafting or reading etc it's probably a focus booster I'd imagine so yeah nothing wrong with it it's just Yeah, 
Yeah, it's like me being on the treadmill reading. The treadmill's just in a corner. So reading just yeah it makes me not look at the uh, gauge on the treadmill. See how much time I've been on it, etc. I just let it run. And I'm more worried about what's happening in the book than that of uh, how far I've gone or how much time I have left in the cycle on the treadmill. It's so much better. So I guess like watching that kind of stuff or listening to music or occupying your mind while doing this kind of stuff is yeah just a concentration uh, booster. Oh, just a theory. I, I don't know how everybody feels about TV shows and stuff, watching other weapon chats, ball crafting. Yeah, it's just something to hear, or just be able to focus on, help you focus. So that's probably why. <laughs> just a theory. <laughs> if I'm right or wrong, yeah, it's just an observation. But yeah, <laughs> it's all good. Just keep doing your thing. Like, yeah, if you're happy with what you're doing, go for it. It's all good. Don't worry about what I'm saying. <laughs> I feel like if you're comfortable with what you're doing. Yeah, just keep going. Okay, 5.50. My mom usually just has a the TV on and it's background noise while she crochets, so. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Five fifty plus sign. All right, it's another purple. Okay, let's go along the bottom here. getting cut off. Yeah, I was up here, so. All right, so yeah, just this plus sign, get another purple. All good, yeah, it's kind of spread out. Yeah, just some little flower petal here again. Yeah, there's a couple hiding in here. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just another part of the this lower flower petal here. Just a continuation. <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah, I just go color by color, one color at a time, single placing. I'll get this filled in eventually. That's just how I diamond paint. I don't know, I guess I do bottom to top in a serpentine kind of configuration to fill the canvas in. It's because I'm right handed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, everybody does it different. Do what you're comfortable with. Listen to music or watch whatever TV shows you want. Yeah. If I'm not recording, yeah, I'll, well, 
this is like uploading or whatever, I turn some music on for sound. But there are times where I just sit here in the quiet. <laughs> but anyway, you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile name, Echoes of Color Facebook business page, and my Instagram. All three I just try to update simultaneously if I finish this section or have an announcement about the channel. Mostly it's, yeah, section completion or here's the canvas kitted up. This is what I'm working on. Yeah, just those kind of updates. Other than that, oh, I also put uh, my two of my walking challenge uh, website links where you can buy the challenges, but they're not affiliate links. They're down there too. But anyway... <laughs> Take care, all the best, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.